Hi, it's Ishtar and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very special guest, a French sociology who came all the way from 19th century to today's camera. Hi, I'm Gabriel Todd. Hi Todd. I've asked you guys to leave some of your questions in the comments and we'll be answering some of them today. Now, let's begin. So, is their kind theory better than yours? Is that some sort of attack? No, definitely not. Well, I don't agree with the kind concept that society should be conceptualized at, on its own level. I believe that we should involve considering the individuals. Instead, I believe that society is made up of the individuals. The social structure and change were constructed by the social interactions and practices. Three distinctive processes include innovation, imitation, and opposition among the social interactions causing social progress. So, is your theory related to inventions? Inventions are the source of progress in the society. For example, the inventions of the iPhone and Twitter have brought about people in the digital age and changed the method of communication between each other. You have mentioned that there were less than 1% of individuals are intended. So, if there are limited inventor. Why there are so many new ideas or innovations in the society? That's why inventions are related to my theory. Inventions are an original combination of imitation. Basically, our inventions here are for the most part combinations of previous example. Socially, everything is just innovations and imitations. Yeah, that's truly interesting. Over the last decades, uh, many technology products are the revolution of old tools such as telephone and Turing machine. All innovations are imitated from one another. I mean, just look at the difference between your phone, the latest phone, and this guy. I mean, they're practically the same. Yeah. This is a clear example of my theory in the case of technological development. Yes, yeah, so we've got one final question. Could your theory apply to social culture? My theory was specified for social culture. But as I kept said before, it can be found everywhere, from technological innovation to social development. I can explain this through opposition, because human desires and beliefs have always been driven innovation and imitation. The imitation will then compete against each other, causing an opposition. However, the opposition will finally be resolved by either the disruption of the flow of the imitation or adaption into a new innovation. Now that's a great example of social, the social idea that opposition progressed from progress was resolved by the disruption of the flow of imitation. The dab now being restricted to the uh, to dance movements where it originated and the act of comedic relief in awkward moments. In contrast, there are developments such as the term OMG that have been around since the 19th century, my time, adapting its form from a postscript to a, in a letter to becoming a true word in the English language, as it was added to the Oxford Dictionary in 2011, taking its place in everyday speech today. Yeah, your example of that and OMG are very impressive, and your theory is really interesting. So that's all of the questions we'll be answering today. If you like this video, please thumbs up and click here for more and click here for subscribes. Well, I better get back to lecturing. Okay, see you. Wow, he just disappeared. How amazing.